Howdy folks, well, we're back at the spillway here in Jupiter and check it out, man. The parking lot is completely full. I actually had to parallel park for the first time since I can remember. It's been years since I've had to parallel park. In any event, um, that's a good sign. That means that the fish are running. It means we're probably going to have to uh, combat fish. It, the water should really be flowing. It's been thunderstorms and pouring rain all week. The last time we were here, no water was flowing over the spillway and there really weren't many fish around, just a few gar. Now that we've got a good flow of water, should be good fishing, I'm excited. We're gonna be sort of fishing with a lot of other people, which uh, I haven't done much of in Florida, but um, we're, get, we're gonna make it work, see what we can catch. All right, well, we're leaving the crowded spillway. People were catching them when I was scouting the place out, but after I actually got here and started fishing, fish seemed to have really completely shut off nobody's caught anything since i've been here it's been i don't know almost two hours that we tried it so i'm giving up good news is we do have uh those fish that i saw up here the big crazy looking thing pick up the line what the heck is this is this my bowfin finally <laughs> this might be an actual bowfin this time It is a bowfin. It has the potential to bite through the line. Yes, this is an actual bowfin this time. I was wondering what this thing was, man. When I first saw it, I got excited. I was hoping it was going to be a night fish. <laughs> saw this big, crazy-looking thing. All right. I think this is my first true bowfin and not a goby fish or whatever that other thing was. A giant, a big mouth sleeper goby was what I thought was a bowfin in the last video. I think this one is a for real both in and it's a big one too wow we got a many then eventually yeah, i was gonna say eventually he's just gonna bite through the line and that's okay he bit through the line there but that's okay cool our first true both in <laughs> I think. <laughs> if it's not a bullfin, guys, let me know. <laughs> I'm going to post it on Instagram, so I'll probably know by now. But uh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I caught a bucketless fish today, man. The spillway sucked, but at least we caught something. Got one. These are indeed Mayan cichlids. Or are they blue tilapia? No, that's not a Mayan cichlid. That's a tilapia. Ah, that's what's been biting. Or that's what's, what's hanging out there. Cool. These things are really pretty. Um, it's weird, man. I'm figuring out the pattern on how to catch them. You've got to, uh, you've got to be nowhere near them to, to catch them. If they see you, they won't bite. They won't scare away, but they won't bite. And if they don't see you, they will bite. These things are so pretty. What a beautiful fish. I'd like to get a picture, but I, I don't know. I'd have to do it left-handed. My hands are all slimy. It's scary, too, how they look at you. All right. Let's let this guy go. <laughs> Cool. Alright, let's try and catch another one. That was fun and pretty. See him hanging out the whole time right where I'm about to cast. I could see him hanging out right there. And uh, and they weren't spooking when you walked up to them, but they also weren't biting. Um, however, now that I'm standing way back here where they can't see me, now they're starting to bite. There we go. So I'm just picked it up. I can tell because the line's moving. I think something's got it right now. Right, go ahead and set the hook. Yep, one's got it. <laughs> cool. The line just moved a tiniest little bit. Um, I'm starting to get the hang of it now. Cool. Beautiful fish these things are. Beautiful. Cool. And I'm learning how to catch them. We're just using a regular night crawler. I'm afraid he's going to flop. And knock the hook loose. He's about to break himself loose here. I'm to spike me. Wow, that one's even prettier than the last one. Look at the colors on that thing. What a gorgeous fish. Just gorgeous colors. Absolutely gorgeous colors. I see he's hooked a little bit better than I thought. And he's gonna find his own way back, I guess. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> cool. Got another one. They fight pretty hard, too. They fight very freaking hard. I cannot believe... This is a little fish, guys. This is not a big fish. My drag is not loose right now. He's taking drag. This is not a small 
I mean, that's not that big of a fish for how much of a fight that thing just put up. Unbelievable. This one, we're, we're going to take a picture before I start messing with them. Just to show Instagram how beautiful these fish are. Absolutely gorgeous. So gorgeous. Man, these things are pretty. There you go, buddy. Beautiful fish on just the tiniest little piece of night crawler. New night crawler, new split shot, see if we can catch some more. I'll just show you guys, I mean, my drag, it's as tight as it is, you know, when I'm bass fishing with this thing, when I'm catching big bass. And, and big, I mean, an 18 inch bass, oh, there's one on there. While I was talking, he must have bet. An 18 inch bass doesn't, like, freaking take drag like that last fish did. These things are insane. This one didn't fight quite as hard, but uh, we got four steps now. Make this whole quick removal process a little bit quicker, hopefully. There we go. Oh. These things are evil little jerks. This one eat it. It's about time. Got him. <laughs> Finally managed to sight fish one. We've got to stay way back here behind these weeds. Um, darn thing. There goes another. Another one. Starting to roll them out now. <laughs> One of these times they're gonna end up getting a dang hook in me. I can tell already. For some reason, these things do seem to be a lot harder to handle than bluegill this one go. There you go, buddy. Well, we're making our way back now. Tons of those blue tilapia I saw on this side of the bridge, too. So let's see if we can catch a few more. Also tried throwing the Senko around. Didn't catch anything on that. And now is if I catch a little one, I'm actually going to keep it and throw it on the big um, pier fishing rod and, uh, and, and use it for snooking stuff on our way out. These fight so hard. They're incredible. Man, oh man, they fight so hard. That's a big one. Whoa, look at that one. Cool. Might be the biggest of the day even, at least fattest. It might not be the longest. He's thick though. That one I caught earlier was bigger. Take that back. Nice fish though. Nice fish. Ouch, dang it, he's still spiking me, man. I These things are just wicked, wicked, wicked fish. I'm scared to touch it because it's gonna... Ouch, dang it, mother... Fine, go to the stupid water on your own, stupid thing. Ugh. smaller than the last couple and of course since he didn't get his energy out flopping in the water fighting me in the water he's gonna be a real flop arounder starting to learn how to handle these things got a two hands on them this time these fish are two handers even the small ones see ya buddy um, fish and again yep little one what is this what is this what is this this is something different I don't know what this thing is. Maybe this isn't a blue tilapia. What is this thing? This is something. Right, I'm going to take a picture because we need to identify this thing later. All right, let this thing go. See ya. Other way. Here you go. Hey folks, I'm sight fishing this one. <laughs> That's the one that we managed to sight fish. Saw him, cast it at him, saw it was a bigger one. Bigger one, baby, whatever you are. Ooh, this one looks like biggest of the day. This one's definitely spawning. Look at it. It's all beat up from digging a bed. Definitely biggest of the day. He's 13 inches. It's not a bed. Ow! Sized whatever it is. Ow! I can't pick these things up, guys. I don't... Let me know how to hold these things. They have really... They have teeth things, too. So, you can't even really grab them that way. Ow! Dang it! Florida, you know, there's just 
the stuff out here is just deadly, everything, man. It's not like back home. Back home, this never happens. Rock bass are the only thing that gets you back home. We're still bleeding from that last fish, but you know what they say, keep fishing, never stop. Hopefully, we don't get an infection. Well, what have we got here? We've got bait, that's what we've got. Just a bluegill. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna try using this bluegill as bait under the thing. All right, you're, you're a bluegill, I can grab you. <laughs> I'm scared to touch anything now. Yeah, this one's safe to hold. Okay, we're gonna keep this thing as bait and uh, take a few more casts till this worm is gone. And I think we're gonna call it quits. out get your energy out I want this thing to be worn out when I go to try and get the hook out that's what I want I want you to be super worn out when I try and get the hook out I don't want you to take me into a snag either. All right. Hopefully he's worn out enough. Another big, beautiful one. These fish are so pretty. Just wish they knew how to hold them. We're going to try holding this one. This, these things are super sharp, too. Super sharp. I'm going to try holding them this way this time. And see if that fares better. Maybe this right here is how you're supposed to hold them. I, don't, I need to look it up, guys. Don't hold these things like a bluegill pushing down on those fins because that doesn't work that's like the opposite of calms them down now this one my other hand's all torn up all kinds of torn up so this one we're going to hold it this way and see how that works out that seems to be working better so far all right we're going to hold them this way from now on i guess Oop, and we just went into the water <laughs> water starts right there apparently Alright, I think that's going to be our last fish of the day. We're all kinds of cut up, and uh, I'm ready to call it quits. Well, our bluegill is on there. Unfortunately, he's pretty dead at this point, but uh, it doesn't mean it's not going to work for snook or tarpon or whatever. And let's go try below the spillway one last time, give it one last shot. Alrighty, folks, well, this is our last shot. It's the final round. Alrighty folks, well, nothing floating our uh, our bluegill. Just broke off the DOA lure. You see there's tons of people fishing the spillway now. All kinds of people, but we're calling it quits. I'm giving up. Well, thanks for watching, and I just did some research on my phone here real quick, and I'm still learning uh, fish identification here in Florida. What I was catching today were definitely Mayan cichlid and not blue tilapia. That last fish that I caught, was indeed a blapia. Everything else I caught was a Mayan cichlid. Uh, I guess when they're in spawning colors, they're a lot brighter and they've got those blue and orange colors. Um, the Mayan cichlids I caught before weren't that colorful there. I, I, I'm still learning my fish identification out here, obviously, because I got that totally wrong. Also, don't hold them the way that I was holding them. Mayan cichlids are an exotic, but uh, not good for the fish because I obviously kept dropping them and it wasn't good for me because my hands are so stabbed and ripped apart right now you'd think i would learn after like the first couple not to hold them by the fins like you hold a, a regular panfish but it took me till the end to realize that definitely don't hold them like you hold a bluegill because that makes them freak out and they stab you with their fins because they, they they don't like a bluegill you hold them that way and it's like holding a bass by the mouth it kind of paralyzes them they calm down uh, not the case with mine cichlid it's the opposite so i don't know look up a video on how to hold them properly um don't hold them the way i was holding them in this video because they stab you and it hurt and uh and it will i dropped the fish and it just all around was a bad situation also i'm pretty sure today i finally caught my bowfin not a sleeper goby i'm glad i caught that i know i didn't do the best job of handling the bowfin either and but hopefully you guys learned what not to do thank you guys for watching be sure to subscribe